girls, in today's video I'll show you how to make flowers with the one stroke technique. I have placed them at the end of my nails like a French manicure. This tutorial will help you if you are new to the one stroke technique, since we don't make an entire flower but only parts of it. It's quite easy. I hope that you'll enjoy this tutorial. First I've applied this base, it's England Tristam. To do this nail art, I will use red and white acrylic paint and a one stroke brush. I'm using a square brush, but you can also use a beetle brush. I dip one side of the brush in light pink, which I obtained when mixing red and white color. Then I shade off on my palette and I draw the simple petal. If your brush is too wet, like here, the paint won't hold on the nail polish, so try to avoid this. You can have a look at my video, One Stroke for Beginners, which will teach you a lot about how to do it. Just click on the annotation. So I draw three petals on each side. That's very easy to do since we're not doing an entire flower. It's quite difficult if you're drawing an entire flower with a one stroke technique. When the paint is dry, apply another coat to darken the color. And if needed, like here, apply a third coat. Now I dilute my white paint to be able to make very thin lines. You can find the reference of the detail brush in the description below. To highlight the drawing, I'll draw the outlines. Then I add two big drops on the sides. drawing with a grid. To be able to do so I have diluted my paint in water, that's not shown in the video. I have diluted my paint in water a lot so that the white paint is barely visible and to obtain very thin lines as you can see. So I make a quick grid and now I use my dotting tool to add some dots in the middle of it. Then to make it shine I use a top coat. I add it inside the flowers and now I sprinkle with tiny glitter flakes. I'd recommend you don't use the normal glitter flakes because they're too big that will mess up your design. So use glitter flakes that look like powder. You can use for example glitter flakes used for makeup. And finally I use the rhinestone glue to apply the rhinestone. So I apply some of it and then I apply the rhinestone. And then I apply some top coat all over the nail to protect the design. Nail art is done, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you try this nail art, come and share it with me on my Facebook page. And do subscribe if you haven't already to see more tutorials like this. See you soon!